Welcome to Good Mythical More. What sandwiches are most popular in which United States? Let's discover that together. Which states in that are from the U U.S.? We understood, but first, let's donate $1,000 to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital! Woo! Our favorite research hospital. Uh, St. Jude works to advance cures and means of prevention for pediatric catastrophic diseases through research and treatment. We, the great thing about St. Jude is the families of the children who are being treated don't ever have to pay a bill. We love what they're doing. Stjude.org. Join us in giving. You know it's going to a good call. It is. <clears throat> um, I feel like we need to apologize to Alan Ray's again. I just feel like I'm gonna have to be doing that until my dying days because I've had Helen Ray's and said definitively it was the best hot chicken sandwich I'd ever had. Mm -hmm. And then I had it in a row of four sandwiches and I said I can make a better sandwich. Now my sandwich is really, like, it is, if I do say so myself, it is really, really good. I've impressed dignitaries, is that a word? But you haven't. I've impressed uh, foreign diplomats. That I mean, a, there's- Those are two words, but you haven't. Uh, well, I plan to do that. So far I've just impressed friends and family, but I do, I do I was plan impressed. to impress diplomats at some point. I'd like to apologize to Ray for calling Ray Ray because uh, his name is actually Francis? No, that's your middle name. It's Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> we know where to find you. I apologize again. I'm sorry for calling you Francis. That's Ben's middle name. <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to be apologizing to some states that we're going to be talking about in this more because yeah. the object of this game we're is We're not going to apologize to South Carolina, I'll tell you that. That's okay. right. Not for a second. I'm going to we're going to I'm going to start by giving you a state and then you're going to have to guess what the most popular sandwich is in that state. Then we're going to reverse it later on. But for now all you need to know is I'm going to give you a state. What's the most popular sandwich? So, we're going to start with Arkansas. Arkansas. Uh, well, this is going to be. There's going. We're talking porks, porks, because of the Razorbacks. Um, Do you say forks? forks? Wild wild boar sandwich. Porks. They like the porks down there. Um, I think it's a pork loin sandwich. So this is just a sandwich with with a sliced pork loin on it. Uh, I, I feel as if I feel so strong about this answer. That I would, if I, if we were into gambling, if we were a, a show that promoted gambling and dabbled in gambling, I would gamble on this answer. Since we don't, I won't. You and you, you call it a pork sandwich. Uh, it's a pork loin sandwich. Okay, it's not a Cuban. Oh no, it's Arkansas, man. Well, I'm just clarifying. If you, if, if I mean, if you're betting on this, I'm gonna say hot ham and cheese. I don't. Okay, know Okay, you're in the. Right, who urine? Strata, my um, urine or his urine? It link. You're you're in the right. Right, you're thinking a little too. You're giving him a little too much here. We're, we're go go low. Oh you went high. oh oh oh! I'm getting too specific. No no uh, no! You, cold you, ham and cheese. Yeah, exactly. Like go 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 to. What you um, mean like grilled cheese? You mean like more like. Yeah. Every man kind of sandwich. Is it an every man sandwich? Yes. Turkey, turkey and rye. BLT. BLT. It's an everyman sandwich that they have only in Arkansas, I think. Mm. <laughs> it uses a particular lunch meat that most people. Oh, bologna do not sandwich. Like. Yeah, and there's like a twist to it. Fried bologna sandwich. Fried bologna yep. sandwich, and yep. those are good. Sucker, I'm telling you right now, I've had a, a few of them. Mm. That's a grilled cheese with fried bologna in the middle of it, is how I would put it. You shouldn't be eating that processed meat. It's a level one carcinogen. <clears throat> what is that black burnt thing on top? Is that a burnt olive? I believe. It does look like it was added. There's also like a white. Uh, that, my uh, friend, is a black olive that has scurried over from the pasta salad. Not what's part the of the white sandwich. Thing that's scurried? Yeah, with a little pasta. It's a piece of pasta that grabbed onto oh. it. The, the olive said, I'm going on the sandwich, and the pasta said, Me too! That's what happened. I could tell the whole story, but I won't. So you're telling me they were like, we're gonna take a photo of this sandwich. But we're gonna. It's do. a user photo, obviously. And Bill, it's Bill bits. Clinton took that. I'll, bits are gonna come over there. I'll put an olive <laughs> on top of this, this part that's close up. That's Connecticut. Connecticut. Now that is a that is. Mm, we drove through Connecticut. Once. What do they like up there in the Northeast? I saw a lot of trees and a couple of gas stations, and before I knew it, I was at MIT. 
I believe they might like a grilled cheese because they like to dip the grilled cheese into tomato soup during the winter months. And it's always winter in Connecticut. They do not have summer. And uh, they've never seen, they've actually never seen a clear shot of the sun. Did you know that? It's always obstructed. I by had a uh, pen pal uh, who was a Connecticut and uh, brought Francis. Him, yeah, Francis was his name. Brought him down to Johnny Francis. Louis Creek. I didn't introduce him to you because I thought your <laughs> accent was too strong and it would scare him. And uh, I remember we took him outside one day and he saw the clear shot of the sun and he just dropped dead right there. Good Lord, what it is may that? have been unrelated. That's that's sad. Yeah. Um. I mean, in a world of sandwiches, what do they have in Connecticut? Um, yeah. Hot ham and cheese. <laughs> you're, you're going up the chain for from Arkansas to Connecticut, Fancy. you know? Um, BLT. Oh, they like a tuna, a tuna salad? Okay, you're in the right ocean. Chicken Well, salad. no. Uh, they like a shrimp sandwich over there? Shrimp po' boy. No, I wouldn't do that. Crab. Okay, the treatment to the seafood is now correct. It's just the specific seafood. Thing. A salad, you mean? F fried no, flounder. No, the, the, the po' boy? The po boy type, yeah. Oyster po' boy? Clam mm -hmm. po' boy? Yeah. yeah. Clam fried, po' boy? Fried clam roll. That makes oh. sense. That, Connecticut. That looks pretty good. <laughs> That's cool. I can eat a clam strip. I had a soft... Give me some clam strip. You know what? Um... It turns out... Lightly uh, breaded clam strip. I had to take care of Barbara for the day. I had to take her out of the house because Jesse was having something at the house. And Barbara's crazy when there's a lot of people and she yeah. wants the attention and she wants everyone's food. So I had to take her out. So Shepard and I decided that we were going to take her to like a dog-friendly place, but we kind of didn't want to like go into like a hike. You look up dog-friendly places to go in L.A. Okay. One of the places that comes up, wouldn't you know, The Grove. Haven't been to the Grove. Oh, you just took Barbara to an outdoor in two mall? two and a half years. In Beverly Hills? Yes, I did. It is dog friendly. There's dogs everywhere. She made so many friends. She got huh. sniffed in so many different ways. Really? We went to... Can you go in the shops with the dog? No. We just kind of walked around the farmer's market, man. That's oh. what that's, you forgot about that. Yes. It's all outdoors. And we and Shepard and I and Barbara... It's like a bunch of little, what would you call them? Mm -hmm. Booth, restaurants. Uh, bo booths, it's kind of like a fair. Where it's like, it's all like a farmer's market foods. that's permanent and it's got a roof in certain places. But it's not fruits and vegetables, <laughs> it's everything. It's like a fair food, kind of. Well, but there's like coffee and donuts and there's a gumbo place that served soft shell crab sandwich. Ho boys. And oh. Shep and I was like, Shepard, let's do a food tour. We need to we need to kill a few hours. This is a good idea. Let's do a food tour, which means we go to a place, we get something, and we split Just it. Just a little something. Get us something a little. Split. And then it. we go to something else and get us something a little. And then and you we compare split. it. Food tour, self curated. That's cool. First place we went, the gumbo place. I don't remember the name, but it's a big place. I think you I think you'd be a good food tourist. I yeah. Mean, no, I mean it. Operator. Tour guide. Guide, that's what it is. Yeah, I can talk very loudly without seeming like I'm talking loudly. Hold that flag. If you're here for the Grove... Hold it, hold it this way. Yeah. If you're here for the Grove food tour, I'm your guy. Eat a little! First, now... Split it! What you want to make sure is that you don't eat too much in any one location, okay? Dog, yes, dogs are welcome. We love the pooches. He'd be good at that, right? <laughs> See? Yes. I think things are going well. <laughs> Pay no mind to the spillage. All right, it's you know what? A fire hazard. First stop is going to be right up here at the gumbo place. I'm going to keep cleaning. You just guys keep just pay attention. Um, and uh, so we so we went there. We went to the gumbo place. <laughs> and uh, don't worry. Paper towels. It Maybe may seem, get it off of the electronics. It may seem like this is wasteful, but you know what? Trees grow back. Uh, so, uh, first stop is the gumbo place. It's been here since 1943. It's actually the first thing. Actually, this restaurant was the first thing here. It was in the parking lot, and the rest of this was built around it. Yes, your dog is fine, ma'am. The dogs are okay. We've established that. Get here on time next time. Anyway, Shepard and I had 
a soft shell crab po' boy that he requested. I went up and I asked um, the the woman who was working the cash register. I said, the uh, po' boyer. I said, how's the 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 soft shell crab sandwich? And she said, are you Rhett? <laughs> 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 and uh, and she was a, she's a big fan of the show. And then so that she was pre- not my question. She proceeded to uh, she proceeded to answer the question with. I've never had it because I'm afraid to look at it. And then she but proceeded. She, there? she proceeded to get me the oyster po boy. Um, I think she just entered it in wrong because I went up there to the to the uh, to the counter and there was an older man, uh, not older than like probably my age, older than her. And uh, he, he said, <coughs> oh, "What did you order?" I said, "I ordered the soft shell crab po boy." He said. My daughter's a big fan, and I think she got confused when you gave the order, but I will get you, she put in the oyster sandwich. We eventually got- That's hilarious that- The soft shell crab po' boy. Like, I've never had it, because I'm afraid to look at it. I, I feel you, girl. It's very good. I highly recommend it. I'll tell you the other two Do you have to bite through the shell? That's the thing that it's I've never soft. ordered it. Like, but are you st- is it still a shell? Is it like biting through skin? You, the only time you do the soft shell is after the crab has, what is it called, molted? Molted? Molted. <laughs> They've gotten rid of their shell and they're soft and then you throw them right in the frying pan at their most vulnerable moment. What is it, but how much of it is meat? Are you eating guts, crab guts? All full crab, every part of the crab, legs, eyes, guts, everything, it's all fried and it, no, you just go right yeah, through it. No, it's great! No. Wait, if you, when you look at what you've bitten into, do you see innards of a crab? No, it's, it's just crab, man. It's just all looks like, soft. I love crab legs meat. Okay, if I were to give you a soft shell crab po' boy and just stuff it in your mouth and you were to take a bite and you never looked at it, you'd like it. But would it taste like crab meat? Yes. I just don't know how much meat's in the middle part. It's not meat in the middle part. It's guts and nasty in the middle part. No, no, no. I, I, Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> this is just a potato skin, not mm. a sandwich. That's not a, that it's, is not a sandwich. It's two potato skins turned upside down and put on top of each other. That's what they like. You think that, all right. Trevor's what are they, what from do they Idaho. Call what do they call it? They call it a potato sandwich. That, that doesn't seem right. Trevor's from Idaho. Um, I th- I'm, I'm just thinking hot ham and cheese. <laughs> no, but it is a sandwich that you would like. And it is a simple sandwich. PB&J. Yeah. Trevor. Specifically peanut butter and huckleberry jam. Huckleberry, huckleberry jelly. jelly. Tre- Look at that. Trevor. Uh, he Idaho. Got a, he got a Jeep. He, he bought a Jeep from his own father. I saw, I saw that Jeep. It's got an Idaho plate on it. Oh, so really? If you see a Jeep in LA with an Idaho plate, Trevor, just give him one of those. Trevor! Okay, we're gonna switch things around now. I'm gonna give you the sandwich, you give me the state. Uh, Pimento. Uh, 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 Pennsylvania. Pimento cheese oh. sandwich. South Georgia. Carolina. It's Georgia. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm dang, from Georgia. Yeah. My mama loves a pimento cheese oh. sandwich. We had them growing up just like that on white bread. Whew, so did we though. Golly, it's so good. You, you ain't got to go to Georgia to get one of those. You can go in you Yeah, can go they're in my super house. popular in North Carolina as well. Do you know what's in pimento cheese besides pimento? Um, eggs. <laughs> Not usually. There's some eggs in it when I eat it. Uh, well, you're Egg eating shards. A, you're eating a weird one. Uh, it's very simple. It's cheese. It's cheddar cheese mixed with cream cheese. It's cheese on cheese. That's and all. And then pimento. Pimentos. Maybe some egg shards if you get if frisky. You're feeling frisky. Yeah. All right. Give us another one. I love a pimento cheese sandwich. This is um interesting. A loose meat sandwich. Loose meat? Loose meat, which is, I guess, also known as a tavern sandwich. A ta- oh, A okay. loose meat sandwich. It's a mixture of unseasoned ground beef and sautéed onions. Uh, Pennsylvania. Colorado. Nope. Well, who's, who's, in, who's closer? Oh, God. You don't what did know you say? Loose? Colorado You don't meat. know where the state it's is. Kinda, no, it's, it's a Dakota. closer to... It's kind of in between the two, actually. Indiana? 
Yeah, you're all over it. You're all over it. Uh, Ohio. Illinois. What? Sorry. Illinois. Ohio. <laughs> Iowa. You're still all over Illinois, it. Illinois, Ohio. Haven't, haven't named it. Wisconsin. <clears throat> um. I. Oh, oh, did Minnesota. Did say it? I missed it. Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. Iowa. Oh, that looks that good. Looks like With that good melted w- cheese. And that's just out? loose meat. It, it looks like ground beef. It is. Perhaps. In a lo- so it's kind of like a a man witch, but without the sauce, or, plus the cheese. Or a woman witch. Now, what I'm, have they done with the food styling? Is this a broken small chip in the foreground? Yeah, this this looks like a styled photo, but like, I mean, I think you're taking t- you're taking issue with the food style. It's rugged choices. It's rugged. They are, they they smush the sandwich down. We're too. already dealing with loose meat, Stevie. Anything loose goes. Loose meat. Loose meat sink ship. Speaking of loose meat, we have a podcast. Our meat's hanging out everywhere on that. <laughs> it's thing. called Ear Biscuits. And uh, we don't just do the podcast, we also turn it into a YouTube channel because it turns out you can do that now. You can have a podcast that has a video component. If you want to watch us do our podcast, you can do that on YouTube. If you want to listen to that, you can um, do that wherever podcasts are done. Yeah. By you. Uh-huh. I think it's special. I think it's a special project. It is so special. Unleash your legendary style with our line of mythical grooming and personal care products. Available now at mythical.com.